So it was recently where you said rates will come down in the next six months. Mark my words, within six months, rates will start coming down. They've been going up lately again. Why are they going to come down? Fed's going to cut. We're going to have a recession. What's what's your view? It, it'll happen in six months because the Fed does have to cut. Like right now, what you're seeing is what was the Fed worried about? Inflation. Right. Well, that worry is going down. Now, what are you worried about? Recession. That's all everybody's talking about. How bad is the economy? What's happening on the real estate side? So Fed will start lowering rates. I think they start lowering it at least in six, within six months from now. That's being priced into the market. You're not going to, yes, they may raise rates a little bit more, you know, at the next Fed meeting. Mm -hmm. But from that moment on, it'll be flat or it'll start coming down. You can't keep having higher rates because if you do, then you will be in a real recession. Do you think there's going to be a recession? You said, I don't know, in one of your prior appearances with me that you, you thought it was all but guaranteed. Do you still? I think you're I'm more nervous about what's going on because of what's happening on the real estate side. And I think you are going to have a bit of a recession. I don't think it's long term. I think it'll be short term. But what you have out there right now, the reason there's issues, think of all the regional banks. They're not lending what they were lending before. So there's less lending going on in the system. Mm -hmm. we're, we're lending more money. You can't have businesses borrowing at 12 to 15 percent. That's not a long term solution. It's short term. And that's what's happening. But sooner or later, businesses have to borrow somewhere around sort of five to eight percent. Twelve to fifteen is just not a model that people can really when, follow. When you say you're you're because you're more worried about what's happening in real estate, you're you're alluding to the commercial real estate yes. issues that some suggest are, have barely even come home to roost yet. I agree you with that. Talk to a lot of developers, I'm sure, and you're probably friends with many of them here in New York City. Are, what do they say? They, they have no choice. They're going to have to keep extending. I mean, rates have gone up. They can't refinance that debt today. So the banks will end up extending and delaying it. And what does that do? That just means there's less money in the system. Right. You're not making new loans. You're you're going to start having issues. Mm -hmm. But the biggest issue really is just that banks are lending less because the Fed has made it more difficult for those banks. Well, obviously, you're picking up the slack. I yes. mean, others in the so-called shadow banking system, people who are lending at high rates of return, your business is picking up there as it already had been going well. It's, I, I would tell you every month is better. I mean, it just is. You're, you've got more and more to do, and that's actually great. But what we're seeing it in Europe, we're seeing it here in the U.S. Mm. There's just more and more opportunities because there's more issues. Are you surprised that the, the U.S. economy has been as resilient as I it am. has appeared to be and consumers as well? I think that's great. It's great for the economy. I mean, it, it's great for people. The last thing you want is to be in a real recession, right? That's not positive. But the economy has been resilient in, in, in spite of what the Fed has done. And that's actually why the Fed has kept on raising rates. But the Fed wants to end up curbing inflation, and that's happened, right? That We're not focused on it as much as we were before because it's gone down quite a bit. They just want to make sure it's lower. What if it's sticky, though, at, at this point, much more so than, than people think? It came down, you know, from 9% to 5%. Right. But what if it takes a long time to get from 5% down to the target goal of 2%? Okay, well, that's a great goal. But if you're in a recession, what is your focus? Is your focus 5% inflation and a recessionary environment? Or is your focus, all right, 5% inflation, but we can't be in a, in a recession? And I think sooner or later, the focus of getting out, especially in a presidential year, think about it, for next year, the one thing you want to do if you're Biden, the one thing you want to do if you're Trump, is talk about how we've turned things around and things are starting to come back. You can't say, oh, we're going to keep raising rates for you. We're going to make your life absolutely difficult um, because we want inflation to be lower. You're suggesting it's not going to be politically tenable for either. It can't be. You've already named the nominees? That's no, who no, you're, I'm that's just who you're saying, expecting? No, no, I just think. <laughs> I,